What is good y'all? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video here on Patron on Ice. Got a new laptop and man, I'm so excited. I'm excited to push out content. But if y'all didn't know, man, your boy's on TikTok. I've been pushing out daily content of outfits I wear, of my favorite things I get at the thrift and how I style it. I started off with like, I just got this at the thrift and this is how I style it. But yeah, man, if y'all want to show some love, TikTok's the same as my main Instagram, Miguel V. Patron. But to cut straight to the point, today I'm going to break down my top five outerwear pieces for winter. At top five, I don't know, I don't really want to rank these because they're all amazing, but it's the Sun Faded Sears Outerwear Puffer Jacket. Man, I love orange. Orange is my all-time favorite color, and especially when it's sun faded, like, bro, this thing is beautiful. My favorite thing about it is that you can legit dress it up, you can dress it down. And just for a casual fit, as you guys can see, I'm wearing just the 70s Carlsbad football jersey, Uniqlo uh, wide leg cargo pants, and I threw this on top, but this is beautiful. Look at the tag. The tag is so pretty. And like I said, guys, I can dress this up. For the next example, I'm wearing this tan bowling shirt. Super sauce from the 60s. And then for the bottoms, I'm wearing these brown flare pants. And then for the shoes, I'm actually wearing these Dan Post cowboy boots. I love these. I love the buck stitch. I think puffer vest or something puffer for the winter is an essential for every single person. This just so happens to be my favorite. I got a couple others. And by others, I mean legit. I got others. I got this mint sun faded green one. Purdy. I got this reversible uh, sage green, but then underneath is orange. You guys get it, man. Orange is my favorite color. And then I got this, this all tan one, but the orange uh, sear sun faded one happens to be my favorite. So yeah, for the first item, it's gonna be that puffer jacket. And now we're gonna move on to my second essential. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot go into winter without a staple denim jacket. I've got a couple right here. This one is actually probably my most expensive uh, item in my closet. I found this myself at the bins. Um, this is a 40s, 50s, can't bust them, type two type denim jacket. Super beautiful, it's a 25 pit to pit and a 24 length, so uh, someone say a boxy. So yeah, this joint is uh, definitely not for sale, but I wouldn't say it's a winter essential just because it's not as thick, it's not as warm as I would like for winter, but this for sure is still a beautiful piece. The denim jacket that I'm talking about personally for myself it's this dark lead denim blanket line jacket. It's got the corduroy neck. That dark wash, you cannot go wrong with it. And as you guys can see, man, I'm wearing just a plain white wife beater. Wife beaters are legit and essential in every single season. So that's my first layer, and then I threw on this denim jacket. And for the bottoms, I'm wearing these white flare pants. Uh, the brand is called Ferris. So I know everyone on TikTok, everyone on social media legit asked me where I get my flare pants. Bro, I can't tell you guys my exact spots of where I thrift, man, because that's my job. But what you guys can do is search it up yourself on eBay. Uh, just search up like 70s slash 80s flare pants. And then I'm wearing another pair of cowboy boots, but this time it's tan. These ones are called Dingoes, made in USA. I love the wear on these, I love the color. But yeah, number two essential is this denim jacket for me. And for number three, man, I think every single person in the winter time should have an essential piece of a sweatshirt or a sweater. This just so happens to be mine. It's white. I picked it myself at the bins. It's from the 50s slash 60s. It's got the long elongated waistband and the long elongated uh, wristbands as well. It's really hard to find sweats like this from that old that fit me because I'm you know, six foot. <laughs> I'm dead. There's no way I just did that right now. Anyways, man, it is pretty hard for me to find my size because uh, I weigh like 195 and uh, 5'11", 3 quarters. A six foot, six foot, we can, we, we can do six foot. But this is my essential. I love the graphing on it. It's got that little camper in the front. It says Rancho Woodlong. I'm not quite sure exactly where this is, where this is from. I think it's super cool too. It has the tag in the back, like, that's sick, that's sick. Don't look at my fingernails, all right? I was working today at the swap meet. Okay, don't look, please. Yeah, what I love about this is just so easy to throw on. If it's a cold, casual day, just throw it on. And then for the bottoms, like for example, right here, some just like light wash jeans. Might have some patchwork on it, which is pretty cool. And for the shoes, I'm just wearing my Doc Martens uh, 1461 monochrome. Love the fit, it's a super casual, keeps you warm. 
And then this actually transitions me into my uh, fourth essential winter piece. It's gonna be just a coat. Uh, in San Diego, it's not that cold. It doesn't get 30 degrees, it doesn't get 20 degrees. So, I still do like rocking coats though, because I do believe that for the winter time, it makes the outfit just look all so pretty. So for mine, it's just super light, super casual. I got it at the thrift. Um, I have never heard this brand. It's called Barracuda Soft. I am not kidding, look, it literally says Barracuda Soft. What caught my attention about it are the buttons. You see the buttons? Kinda cool. And then the texture on the actual coat, I like to just throw it on with maybe just a shirt. Or with this outfit I already had on with the sweat. I can just throw it on as another layer and just makes the outfit look that much more put together. So those are gonna be three and four. We're gonna put these away and we're gonna get to the last two. I just realized right now, it's supposed to be a top five winter essentials, but I really did six. And so for the next one is a shacket. This one's super pretty. It's Canadian lumberjack by the bell shirt. It's from the 70s, look at the tag. Super pretty. The colors on this joint, immaculate. It's got a little bit of orange, it's my favorite. A little bit of green, black, a little bit of cream. And honestly, my favorite thing about this is just the fit. Like, it's boxy, like, it's wide enough for the shoulders, and it just cuts at just the right length. And as you guys can see, for the bottoms, it's just a wide leg, loose fitting dickies. I love these, like, legit casual. For the shoes, I throw on my Clarks, and I think just the color combo and scheme with the white pants, with the colors on this jacket, just go super well together. And this joint is super warm, it's super thick. Like, dog, this is quality. Legit, they don't make them like this anymore. And if they do, it's like 150 at like a store or like 200 bucks and it's like, oh, designer, shut the hell up. But yes, this has been an essential for me in the winter time. I wore this in New York recently and legit like throw it on. Boom, I'm set. It's legit like one of those jackets that you can legit just throw on and it'll automatically make the outfit look that much better. And so, let me know what y'all think so far of the items. I'm gonna show you guys my one last essential piece. Absolutely been my favorite item, like legit. Like I've worn it way too many times, like way too many times. It's gonna be this black wool zip up work jacket from the 50s. Like bro, look at that tag. Like that tag, just beautiful. Like it's still intact. Like this jacket legit is in great condition. My homie actually found it at the bins and he sold it to me for super cheap, like 40 bucks. Like, dog, I, if I wanted to sell this, like I could sell it for a lot more than that. But I'm not, cause the, the cut, the fit, the crop, the boxiness, and legit the versatility on this joint is crazy. I've been wearing this nonstop during the winter time. So beautiful, like no holes, no nothing on the wool. And when I was telling you guys about the versatility, like I mean it. Like I wore this for a wedding recently, and the wedding was a all black attire. Threw this on top, and then found online on, I believe, Grail, these black flare pants, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. For the shoes, I wore those boots again the, with the buck stitching, all black attire, like this. Mm, mm, mm. I can't express to y'all how much I love this jacket. And for just being casual, like throw this on on top of a boxy shirt already, as you guys can see. It's a European shirt that I got on. And then for the bottoms, just some OG 107 pants, like, like super casual. Like I love those OG 107 pants. Those are probably my go-to pants. I don't know. I think just for winter, especially here in California, it's all about versatility. Like you should be able to dress it up. You should be able to dress it down. I said top five. I accidentally gave y'all a top six. Let me know what y'all's favorite is down below. If you guys want to see more outfits that I put together with these, like follow me on my IG, Miguel V. Patron. Follow me on TikTok. It's the same thing, Miguel V. Patron. And if y'all like vintage clothes, I do sell some. I post on my story every day on my vintage page. Brown Macklemore, I'll put it up on the screen. And yeah, I'm trying to make a website too, just so like when I tell you guys if you want vintage clothes, y'all can just click a link down below. But yeah, man, big things coming up. Consistency and discipline are the two words for 2022, man. So I'm trying to be disciplined and consistent with posting my outfits and just making content for y'all. So make sure you guys follow me on everything. I promise you I'll be posting entertaining and informational content. Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And you guys know what it is, man. Patron on Ice. I am out of here, but I'll see y'all later. The way that you walk in the room, girl, you're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me, and my heart started jumping. And they'll never get it, cause baby, they think it's just casual loving.